welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today is the first day I've actually felt well enough to um, make a YouTube video. I sound like complete uh, garbage and um, I apologize. I didn't really want to leave it much longer before making a video. Um, so I thought now would it's now is better than ever. Uh, even though I'm still a little bit raspy. Um, and uh, before we go on, I just want to say I will probably be doing... I won't be doing videos every day now. Um, I'll be doing them when I have one ready. Because I don't want to rush these videos. Um, and give you guys the wrong information um, before I'm ready to give it to you guys. So to get ourselves back in, I thought I'd do something just a little bit different. Um, while I've been away, I've still been working when I can uh, bear to look at the screen. Um, and I've produced this. So if I run out of the grass so we don't get an encounter. When I press T to bring up our menu and click on our party, um, I've now got it so that it brings up all of our information. I haven't done the moves on this yet, but I have done everything else. So, uh, And I'll show you how to do this as well. The way I've done this, so it's just ba a basic panel that you, when you scroll over it shows their base stat, their EVs, their IVs, and their final figures. So if we come away from that now, close that down. Um, I can just quickly show you how to do that. Uh, and I thought it would be a fun little video to get me back into um, the YouTube scene after 10 days of being away. So... All I've done for that is I've done it on the party widget, I believe. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, and it's just a basic panel that uh, everything starts off hidden. Um, it should do, anyway. Uh, where is it? Hidden. So I've hidden all of these um, from view. And on here, um, on the um, actual border box, um, I've created that as a variable. So that we can uh, create something that when we hover over it, it appears. So if you head into the graph, um, obviously you've got a, it's, it's a lot of text boxes uh, set up ready for all their figures to go in. Um, so just bear that in mind, it is a lot of text boxes. But I have also given them just um, standard colors so that you can see which one is, uh, is, attribute to which um, of the four stats um, and then it's all done here it's working on an event tick that's only run when it's constructed so this isn't going to be running all the time so it's actually not too expensive um, so we're casting to the third person character to get all the information now I need to set this up multiple times for each slot um, but what's happening is um, it's uh, doing, we're obviously running off the it is going to run off a sequence eventually but at the moment it's just doing this once for that top slot uh, and we're breaking our information from our third person character the ring mom party um, so we're getting slot one uh, we're breaking that down to get all those information the key bits of information we need uh, we're also, to get the base stats, I'm just getting that from um, our data table that stores all that information in there. Um, first off as well, um, once we've got that data row table, I, I, sorry, I'll go through this a little bit better. So we catch the first person character, get that ring on party, break the slot to get slot one. And then off of our first sequence, we are breaking the party information. Now that will all come in later, you'll see that in a moment. But we're checking the ring mom basic information and we're finding that on our data row table which is the base stats and we're running that through a for each loop and when it comes back true we can get that data row table and get that information and break it later on next we're getting that variable we created for the slot one border and we're just checking to see if we're hovering over it if that's true we'll set the visibility for the stat info border and all that text information we're setting that all to visible and if we're not hovering it's all set to uh, hidden away and that is for literally every single thing
everything that's on here is being affected by this visible hint. I've broken it down just so I can keep better track of it. But everything on here is plugged into both. That's why there's a lot of these um, text variables. So from our, the next thing we're getting is from our data row table where we broke that hit. We're then going to get um, all of those max figures and put them into a two text float. And all we're doing is we're setting every single one of those base stat figures uh, in here. The next thing we're doing is then setting the IVs. And the next thing we're setting is the EVs. And then finally we're going to set the final stat figures. So it's a lot of text to set. But it's basically doing all of these um, individually. These will never change. They're just changing hidden and visible in that um, branch. Same for these. And same for these. But these are updating um every time we hover over a uh, slot uh, and then what we're doing after that is we're just breaking each bit of information that we need so the base stats come from the base stat row the IV information comes through from the ringmon party slot one same for the EV and same for those final the, the final strut, stat struts uh, and then we're just setting it, it's very simple, it's just setting, it's a lot of text to set, but it's just setting each one individually so that it corresponds to the information we have stored in our ringmon. And again, showing that off afterwards, if we run it out from here, we go into our party and we just hover over and it gives us an update on everything that we have so far. If I go and fight something and then kill it, you'll see the EVs update. But the final stats won't re-roll until you level up. So there we go, killed that. But again, it's going to take us a lot longer to level up because we're level 9 now. Um, but if we go back to our party, the EVs have been updated. Um... But they, as I said, they won't re-roll the final stats until we level up to level 10. Um, and which will obviously gain more health, attack, defense, etc. Apologies for my voice. Um, once I'm feeling better, I will hopefully be producing a lot more videos. Um, but I thought it's been too long since I've set up a video. Um, it's been 10 days uh, off the channel. So I thought I'd do something a little bit simpler not too complicated with a voice like this um, I'm a bit upset because obviously I've gone strong with a video every day uh, and then for the last 10 days there's been nothing um, and so I thought it's, I've got to do something uh, I really wanted to do like Christmas episodes I wanted to do like uh, snow um, a snow particle system on Christmas day and things like that but um, they are on my list to do anyway I still want to do them um, but they just it just might be a little bit long until there's another video until my voice is better but, um, Thank you so much guys for everyone who's still supporting the channel while I'm gone um, I As I say I hope to be back in full swing really really soon um, But until then I'll keep plugging away and hopefully producing more videos for you guys um, For when I'm better, but thank you so much guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're not already It's free to do and you can always change your mind and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye